Italy! Welcome to Milan, the fashion and design capital of Italy. I'm here with my sister for the long weekend in February to celebrate my birthday and spend a mesmerizing three days discovering the city's rich history, breathtaking architecture, and delectable cuisine. After landing at Malpensa Airport and hopping on the Malpensa Express train to Milano Central, the main railway station, we immediately stopped by a cafe for a cappuccino and a pistachio pastry. Milano Central is worth some time to explore due to its magnificent architecture. From there, we hopped in an Uber to get to our hotel. Italy doesn't use a Uber X option, only black cars, so it is probably a bit more expensive. Instead, you can download an app called Free Now, which calls local taxis. We're in the Uber and we're going to this hotel. It's about 16 euros. And I'm definitely getting tired. We checked into the Grand Hotel at the Milan, a five star hotel near the Opera House in Milan Cathedral. Is that a room? All right, go ahead. Oh! <laughs> it's 9.45 a.m. We're gonna nap until 12.30 and then we have lunch at 1 p.m. at Bulgari Bar. Good night! <laughs> After doing some research, I really wanted to get afternoon tea at the Bulgari bar and sit outside in their gardens. However, afternoon tea doesn't start until 3.30 p.m. and it was too cold to sit outside. But we really enjoyed our light lunch at the restaurant and highly recommend it. We just finished lunch and the weather is amazing. It's 14 Celsius. I'm only wearing a sweater and this dad coat. <laughs> All right, let's go shopping. Our itinerary for this afternoon is to walk around and check out the Bohemian Barrera district. This area is known for its narrow streets, art galleries, and trendy boutiques. This is the park. We're at the castle. It's pretty gray out. It's the air pollution probably, but it's really nice. Let's go walk around. Castello Sforzesco is a huge medieval renaissance fortress with historical museums and art by da Vinci and Michelangelo. We thought we had to buy tickets to walk around the grounds, but you can cut through for free, whereas tickets to the museum inside is 5 euros. We spent the day walking around, buying pistachio gelato, and going to the art academy which was filled with sculptures and Barrera art. Some highlights in Barrera include the Pinacoteca di Barrera Gallery that houses the world's most spectacular collections of Italian paintings. There are lots of boutiques of emerging designers and local craft markets as well. This area is super walkable and I highly recommend comfortable shoes on the cobblestone streets. We just went to a museum, walked around. We're so tired, we're gonna head back to the hotel, rest a little bit, and then go out to this. Good morning. It is day two here in Milan. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> right, we're in a pharmacy just to check it out. And Shirley's looking for a baby formula. So shopping in Europe for certain things are cheaper. And with the VAT refund, it becomes even cheaper for tourists. Today we're exploring the famous Galleria Vettero Emmanuel II, a luxurious shopping gallery on the way to the Duomo. It's so pretty and adorned with so many luxurious designer stores. As you walk through, you'll then be greeted by the Duomo, which is an architectural masterpiece, boasting intricate Gothic design and breathtaking views of the city from its terrace. We spent some time here admiring the architecture and taking some photos, then went shopping. I'm sorry, I'm trying this top on in these pants. It's okay, I don't know if I would wear them together. Yeah, I don't know about the top. 
It's very soft though, comfy. Mm, I'm gonna try it with my pants. Hold on. My pants? Looks a little better. I really like this turtleneck. How do you feel about this? I think I'll pass on this. Yeah. Pass. Okay, but this is tucked in, and I think I like the tucked in better. It's better like this, the proportions. Ooh. All right, this top, it's a guess. Now Shirley's trying on the same outfit. <laughs> We are going to Primark. We're at Primark. We've been shopping for an hour or so. Let's look at our We're back mm -hmm. and we're heading to Peraza Domo 21 for Jerry's Come on. That's where we're going. Up there. Right there. There were a lot of people waiting to enter Terraza Duomo 21, which is a popular rooftop cafe and restaurant with views at the Duomo. We made reservations through our hotel and actually ended up on the wrong floor, but at the top level, there's also a bar with a view. We decided to go down to where we had our reservations. So on the fifth floor, it is the view, it is a lounge bar. And as you saw, it's really nice, especially if you can get seats by the window, by the edge. You get a really good view, but we didn't make reservations for this spot, so we're just going down. And we're gonna go down to Terrazzo, <laughs> go down to Terrazzo, see if we get better seats or not, and get a drink there. Terraza also has a gorgeous view of the Duomo, but we didn't end up staying because there were a lot of flies around our table. So we decided to go to Campari instead, which was on my bucket list to get a famous Italian aperitif and drink in front of the Duomo. She has to pump, but being a mom is hard work, even without the baby around. So all the moms everywhere, good job. As you may know, my sister Shirley recently had her second baby, so she's using a portable pump since she has to keep pumping during this trip. You can watch more of her pregnancy and baby journey on her YouTube channel. After all that shopping, we hopped in an Uber and went to dinner at Langosteria, which is highly rated and known for its seafood. The food was beautifully plated and fresh. Oh my god, there's just so many people here! There's lines everywhere. Oh, there's so many people. It is 10.45 a.m. We are earlier than yesterday, but still a little bit late. That's where the line starts. Look at the line right there. For who knows what. We'll find out. Get back to you. Shopping, and you go to the museum back. It has a really nice view. This Duomo from the side view, bigger. Looks like it's under construction. Reminds me of Barcelona. And then here's the museum. There's a long line, so we're gonna try to see if we can get tickets and maybe beat this line. <laughs> There are a lot of museums here, so we were confused where we were going. Our plan today is to go to the Museo de Novecento. The main reason we wanted to come to this museum because we saw an amazing view from here that looked incredible. And I really wanted to get a photo from the spot. I included it in my blog post, 10 best views of Duomo, so check out my post for a list of all these incredible spots. There's a restaurant at the top floor, which is an incredible view. They were so kind to let us in and take some photos even though they weren't open yet. We continued on to explore the museum and then finally found the panorama room. It wasn't crowded at all and there were a few others here taking photos as well, but I highly recommend this incredible view.
Next on our itinerary is the Duomo Terrace. I'm walking up to the ticket office. I'm buying tickets online, but we just want to go to Duomo, not the museum. Let's see if there's any available. So this turned out not being the ticket office, we were a bit confused about buying Duomo tickets, and here's my conclusion. The website is the easiest way to book tickets. We only wanted elevator tickets to a rooftop, however, we heard great things about the guided tours, and I've linked options below in the description for you. There are lots of options of the tickets to choose from, so make sure you read carefully and choose which one you want to do. Once we bought our tickets online, we went to get lunch at the gallery and then went shopping. I just bought my first Gucci bag. Gucci, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we're going up to Domo now, we're gonna go to the lifts. We bought tickets. They were 15 euros each. We're gonna go upstairs, and it's a little hazy and gray today. Bye bye. Bye. This is behind the Domo for the north lift. Okay, now we're in line for the lift. There's a bit of a line, but it moves pretty quickly. The Gothic architecture is beautiful and the rooftop is larger than expected. So we walked for quite a bit actually and even had trouble finding the exit. So the reason why it is recommended to take the elevator instead of the stairs is because you take the same stairs down as you would be going up. And as you can see, it is cramped and dark and it took some time to get down, so I can't imagine walking up these stairs. Another thing on our itinerary for today, and something we love to do overseas, is to check out a supermarket and try some local groceries. We had so much fun seeing what the local supermarket offered and ended up buying a few snacks and appetizers before our dinner tonight. The real? <laughs> successful haul and we're about to the hotel and eat before dinner. <laughs> this is our haul from Essenlunga Italian supermarket. We got two of their famous gorgonzola cheese. This is now the in Milan. This slice we got from the cheese deli section is a euro 40 and this the picante was, like... was more expensive. So under five euros we got two different kinds of cheeses. The texture is really different. This one is really soft and creamy. Yeah. Like gooey. And I like this one more, I think. Really? And Dude, I like this one. This it's one's like crumbly. Yeah, crumbly, like a medium, not like super soft, but not like a hard cheese. Mm. This one tastes like candy to me. Before dinner, we're having dinner in like 10 minutes. <laughs> mm. So good. Mm. Mm. So good. Also got some Hugo de Lompo, lump fish eggs, I think. Caviar. Yeah, this is a caviar. <laughs> Just salty. And I've been obsessed with sardines since Barcelona. It's Le Dolce del Mar Cantabrico, filetti di alici a bassa salatura. Mmm. Love it. The most expensive things we bought with the pistachios. The total we spent was 52 euros. All right, we're gonna go to dinner after we eat a little more. Dinner Ciao. time! For our final meal, we got dinner at Zillo Four Seasons and got the famous Italian Milanese veal cutlet. hotel our last night before we head back to New York
before we board our plane at the MXP airport, we buffered in some time for a final shopping trip. So we stopped by the Hermes store. If you're planning on shopping at the Hermes store in MXP, note that they rarely get bags here, but you can shop for accessories instead. So the next video will dive deeper into all the food and restaurants we ate at. So keep watching and grab a snack while you watch. Thanks for watching.